welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to those of you who are new my name is brianna weiler i'm going to be doing a walmart grocery haul like my title says of this video i am going to share with you what i got and how much is in the title as well i always put the prices in the bottom corner of my screen if you like grocery hauls like this please click that red subscribe button and join my youtube family i do hauls like this whenever i go and get groceries which is every couple of weeks about sometimes i'll go to costco one week and walmart the next and try we try to do Costco once a month, but sometimes we'll go back for produce. But I'm gonna turn you around and show you what we have got here for this Walmart haul. This side is where I'm going to start. I grabbed a bunch of organic bananas. We were completely out of bananas, so I grabbed one. These were the best looking bananas. We probably all have to wait to eat them because they are still kind of green. Sometimes we eat them too early, they're not the best. So I grabbed the bunch of bananas. They're organic. It was a, I don't even remember how many pounds it was. I'll put that with the price on the screen and then I grabbed some breakfast sausage and some bacon breakfast sausage is just easy for me to make a bunch of different things for breakfast and my husband's going into work a couple times a week so I have been trying to like pre prep meals and for myself even when I do go into work I like having something that I can easily just like throw in the microwave make it a quick meal and eat before I go into work because then I have a full belly and I'm able to take care of the kids to me the best of my ability and my husband same thing he can go do his job so i also grabbed the it's the hormel black label center cut bacon this is actually one of our favorite bacons i usually will keep some in the freezer and i'm pretty sure i don't have any more in our freezer so i grabbed two packs of that to have just for easy breakfast i have potatoes i have eggs so i can just throw an easy breakfast together and there is that i also grabbed a five pound bag of jasmine rice i grabbed rice i don't even remember i think it was at target and they did not have anything bigger than like the small maybe a pound bag so i grabbed this at walmart this is usually what i grab is the great value jasmine rice i love it the rice tastes good to me so that's what we do i am going to do the ice cream so i can put that away the frozen stuff real quick so that way i can put them away and they don't completely melt on me because i grabbed those as one of the first food items when i was walking through the store so i grabbed a pack of drumstick to have in the freezer they're banana split and these ones are limited edition there's eight cones in there they have a banana flavor Flavor, a strawberry with fudge and a banana with fudge so I thought those sounded good sometimes banana ice cream just sounds good to me I don't know why but I grabbed those for me and my husband and then I grabbed two things of the little Debbie's ice cream I got the cosmic brownies and the nutty nutty bars ice cream so those two are just something that we like the nutty bars and the cosmic brownies anyway so I figured it'd be just fun to try those these need to go in the refrigerator as well I grabbed two packs of the bunny sugar cookies I don't know these just taste good to me I don't <laughs> probably not the best for you but we usually do about half a pack at a time and we eat them pretty much right out of <laughs> pretty much right out of the oven so there's that and then we I grabbed some frozen vegetables I got a California style vegetable mix for my husband which has broccoli cauliflower and carrots and then I grabbed mixed vegetables which is carrots green beans corn and peas so he has two different options in the freezer i am not a huge vegetable eater i do eat certain vegetables but the mixture just is not my thing so there are those i am going to go put the frozen stuff in the freezer real quick and then i will be back actually wait a second i also grabbed two things of yo play yogurt i grabbed the strawberry with the the strawberry and the peach flavor is in one box and then strawberry and blueberries in the other box and these are good until may so i decided that it would probably just be good to have two in the refrigerator that means there's 12 of them so that'll last us a couple of weeks i don't usually eat much yogurt i do eat some uh, my husband loves his yogurt for breakfast so there's that and i'm gonna put the cold stuff in the refrigerator so it doesn't melt and go bad and all that stuff so i will be back to show you the rest all right i am back to talk about everything else now all right, so I grabbed a bottle of the Stoke Unsweet Black Cold Brew. I use this for my at-home cold brew. Sometimes I also brew my own. I just have been buying this out of convenience, so I grabbed one of those. I have been filling my at-home cold brew pitcher with this and just using the pitcher for the cold brew this way. And then, so that way I can see how much I have left. So, because it's a clear container. And then I also grabbed, I grabbed a case of these mini sprites because I have been wanting a Sprite every so often and we haven't had any and I've been really good about not drinking soda so I figured it would be okay to have 
you know, the little tiny ones. These are only 7.5 fluid ounces, so it's not like I'm going back to drinking a full 12 ounce can of soda. And yeah, so I grabbed those. The little mini ones are good to have on hand and I can just throw them in the fridge. They'll fit and whatnot. So I grabbed those. I also grabbed some pizza Lunchables, the pepperoni pizza Lunchables. I grabbed four. I just didn't feel like looking through the rest of the other ones for the dates and everything. These are good until June, so I have some time to eat them, but I usually will keep them in the fridge just for a quick lunch because there's a lot of times where I almost forget to eat lunch and this is just an easy thing I can just pull out and eat. Yes, I know it's not the healthiest for me, whatever, I don't care, but there are those. And then I grabbed some Rain-X, the two-in-one all season. I got the negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit because the only other option was 32 above and we have been getting 32 below overnight still here so i don't want to put i don't know i just didn't want to put the other one in our cars and it freeze or whatever so i grabbed this one i have one here and then i also left one in my car so there was two of them I usually buy them one for each car so there's that i also grabbed this lysol laundry sanitizer and it's the free and clear i usually use the free and clear detergent um i haven't really been seeing the free and clear and the lysol sanitizer as much as i've seen the regular one which the regular one has been fine for me i haven't had any you know allergic reactions to anything and that's usually why i try to steer away from the scented stuff i just figured i'd give this a try and see if it if it's any different or not but i grabbed a box of borax because i use it to clean my towels along with a box of the household cleaner and laundry booster arm and hammer super washing soda so i use a little bit of this a little bit of that and some powdered tide and mix those all together and those clean my towels really good and strip them of the like all the yuck that just builds up in them so i'll clean them with those and then i grabbed two boxes of the hamburger helper the chili macaroni this is my favorite one and the last time i was there at walmart i could not find any of this flavor or not flavor but the I guess it would be flavor the this variety like the chili macaroni one I could they had all of the other ones but this is my favorite so I grabbed that then I also grabbed some household gloves just for like doing dishes and stuff my hands get really dried out they're not too bad on this hand but like this hand I have a scratch on it from one of the boxes when I was bringing up groceries and it just would be nice to not have it like in the water and be able to heal so that is something I can have I always end up scratching and hurting my hands so those will work good I just grabbed one of the latex free and one of the multi-purpose ones so I figured we could I could just use these for dishes and whatnot anyways then we grabbed I grabbed a couple of these scoops um they were on sale for 328 they were originally like five something i'll put the original price up here and then the discount with the actual part price i paid i bought they were both on clearance they were in the clearance section and we needed a scoop for our bucket of sand that we have for our cars for when it does get icy and whatnot we have slowly been preparing for the icy weather and some of these and these were under five dollars so i figured it was not too bad of a price to buy for scooping sand and if we're gonna need sand we're gonna need a good amount so so I think that'll work. And then I got, um, this is a set of three mesh strainers. I bought them to wash my rice because I have not been wash washing my rice, but I know you're supposed to. So I grabbed these. I've never owned any of the mesh strainers like this before. So I grabbed those and then... I grabbed this three set or set of three tools and it's the, why can I think of her name? Drew Barrymore. It's her line from uh, Walmart and they're in a pretty color. So I just grabbed this. It's two spatulas, one solid, one slotted, and then a spoon. Let's see, a slotted turner, a short turner, and a what does that say? Basting spoon tools to prepare and serve your fam favorite family dinners. Safe on all cookware, including nonstick. So I figured these would be good and they're dishwasher safe, which is pretty good. Um, and they don't have like a joint right here where like the piece will come apart. And I liked that. So I grabbed those, this pretty blue color. And I grabbed some tortillas because it doesn't hurt to have them on hand. I have plenty of cheese. We can make quesadillas and whatnot. So there's 
that. And then I grabbed three different flavors of the sparkling ice. I got, this one is the peach nectarine. This one is the orange mango. And then I also grabbed the strawberry kiwi, which is one of my favorites. Peach nectarine and the strawberry kiwi are my favorite sparkling ices. And I like the orange mango, I'm pretty sure. And then I grabbed these, the home edit um, stacking bins. I grabbed this one for under the sink in our kitchen. I wanna try and organize stuff in that. And then I think this one I was gonna use in my pantry. I just don't have a for sure space on where I wanna keep it, but I have an idea, because, an idea because I need some clear bins in my pantry. I have a lot of different bins in there, but I like the clear so I can see what is in it. But that is all. So I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. What is your favorite thing to buy at Walmart when you go? Is it for like more for household items or is it a good grocery shopping experience for you or cheaper grocery shopping experience for you? Let me know down in the comments below. If you haven't already, please hit that red subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I'd love to have you here. And until next time, bye.